My name is Sarah G. I work at Genevieve's Fair Trade Village and I am a Cambodian clothing and jewelry designer. My brand name is Narith and I'm opening my own shop. Of all the animals, the elephant is my favorite one. In everything I do, I picture this strong animal walking peacefully in the forest. I guess I can say that this mighty creature is my spirit animal. The words disable, unable, no future, they forged me. I'm not angry about that, like the elephant. I also kept them in mind and used these memories when I felt weak. Disabled people might be different, but we are still human and therefore we all have the potential to develop exceptional skills. Why would it be any different? My weaknesses became my strength. All that happens to us makes us who we are. I'm proud of who I am today. My story is not happy. I rarely talk about it. As a child, I was left alone when my parents divorced. I had to live with an uncle who passed away when I was 15. I then had to find a job to keep eating and survive. My passion was sewing, but I didn't have the money to take classes nor buy a sewing machine, so I worked hard. During the night, I would fish. I would sell my fish at the morning market. I also sold spinach in the afternoon on my bicycle and took sewing classes during the evening, every day. I had one goal, to buy my own sewing machine. Later, I worked in an NGO and in a furniture factory, but one day the doctors discovered that I was suffering with a breast tumor, and I had to undergo a surgery. It required all the money I had managed to save. Despite this painful experience, I still had the obsession for my sewing machine in my shop. It became a dream. It helped me to fight. It took time, but I went back to work in Siem Reap a second time with one goal, earn money for my shop. I had to undergo surgery a second time, but this time I stayed in Siem Reap and started working as soon as I was able to. A friend offered me the chance to work with her. But I didn't want to quit my job. I needed money. I was obsessed. Now I sew every day. Every day. Yes, there was much criticizing, many mockeries, and judgment. The word disabled was thrown in my face every single day. Disabled people are worthless and useless. It made me fight, pushing me to be strong. I devoted my life to proving these people wrong. Sewing became my life. It was my first priority. When I began working at the Fair Trade Village, I paid attention to people's remarks on my work. They kept telling me, you can do it, you can sew, your work is beautiful. The judgments from the past and today's appreciations are giving me the strength and will to improve my work and make it blossom. My wish in the future is to help disabled people, helping them to find their skills and share my knowledge of sewing.
You know, when I was young, I did not dream big. I wanted a place at the market to sell my clothes and have money to live, because where I come from, the disabled are not allowed to dream. But now, I am opening my own business, and my dream is turning into a reality. I thank everyone who has helped me and are still helping me on this project. Everything is going so well that it scares me a little. I hope that people will continue to support me in the future, buying my clothes and accessories. If things keep going well, I want to help disabled people find jobs because they are systematically looked down upon. I want to help them realize their value and change their image. I want to show the world that disabled people are in fact able people. Today, my main preoccupation is quality because everything is handmade. Am I tired? Of course, but so happy. The elephant walks slowly with strength. So do I.